Hello quilters! I wanted to show you my technique of saving two inch strips for log cabin quilting. I always take my scraps, whatever I have left, be it something that I'm all done with and this is the le leftover fabric, I would take this fabric and I would cut it up into two inch strips. I have a, it's actually a men's tool shed nut and bolt keeper has the drawers in it. As you can see, I've marked them for my sizes, two inch light, three and a half light, five, six and a half, eight, and nine. Then I've used the bigger drawers for the 11 and the 12. As you can see, I've got some started and these are all the light ones. But I folded them neatly and put them in here and I use, I cut up all my scraps this way. As you can see there's some more in there. Here's the two inches. You can get a lot of two inch ones in these. Two inch seems to be the size that I use the most of. This size, this side is the three and a half, so which are three and a half dark, five, six and a half, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, twelve and a half, and fourteen. And of course there, I'm starting to fill them already. And what I will do is any of my scrap paper, scrap fabric, excuse me, I would cut into my two inch strips and fill whichever one, whether it's a light fabric or dark, this to me would be a dark. Then the pattern that I use takes 30 blocks. So when I have 30 of what I need, I have enough to make a quilt. But if I got a baby quilt or something or a gift I need to get together quick, I can grab some of my strips and make a log cabin quilt and I'm ready to go. I've got another quilt made. This keeps them nice and organized and it works with the pattern that I've developed. And you have scraps ready to go. So I hope you'll try this. It makes it very nice, very organized way of keeping things. Try it and see what you like. Happy quilting!